Tax season officially gets underway one week from today, January 23rd. If you're expecting a hefty refund check, well, think again. Mm -hmm. So WRTV investigates Kara Kenny is digging into why that is and what you can do to get your money quickly. 3200 was the average taxpayer refund last year, but because many of the COVID related tax breaks have expired, you could be looking at a smaller refund this year. For this tax season, really, we're just looking at all the forms that we've ever completed before. Judy Moeller lives in Carmel. She and her husband are getting ready to file their taxes. We keep a checklist. So what have we received? What did we need last year? Like many Indiana taxpayers, she still has unresolved issues with the IRS from previous tax years. Judy's father died two and a half years ago, and she's still trying to close his estate. We're still waiting for my father's 2020 refund. Still has not come. I just want to get this resolved. You know, you just always have this issue out there. This tax season, the IRS is aiming to improve customer service by adding more than 5,000 telephone operators as well as more in-person staff. We're ready to serve and we've got a lot of people who uh, know their stuff and, and can walk you through whatever issues you may have. What should I do if I still have an unresolved issue from a previous tax season? Do I just file my taxes as I normally would? Yes, file your taxes as you normally would. It's fine to go ahead and, and file your return for this year. Uh, we ask people uh, to be patient with us. Michael Jamison is a certified public accountant and president of On Target CPA, located in downtown Indianapolis. It's been a crazy couple of years for taxes. It has. And so will this year be more back to normal? That's what the IRS says. Jamison says many taxpayers will get a smaller refund this year. That's because the federal government did not hand out COVID related stimulus checks in 2022, which some taxpayers received as a credit on their tax return. That was getting added on to your refund, whereas this year that will not be happening. Child tax credits have also expired. Last year they were able to get enhanced benefits for the children in the form of child tax credits and then also uh, child care credits for the money spent for like child care. Those credits are reduced this year, so that's why they may see a lesser refund. Jamison says make sure you have your W-2s, 1099s, and other tax forms before you file. Otherwise, you'll have to amend your return. Judy Moeller is waiting on her tax documents before filing. And we're still waiting for a lot, so we're not, we're not going to be ready next week. The IRS says you should do these three things to get your money quickly. Prepare your return electronically using software, file electronically, and ask for direct deposit. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. All right, Kara, and the deadline to file this year is, of course, April 18th. It's usually on the 15th, so you get a few extra days there. But keep in mind, this is the deadline to file, not to pay. If you owe money and you wait until after April 18th, then you could face penalties and interest. Also, most Indiana taxpayers can use IRS free file, which allows you to file your federal return free of charge. We've included a link in this story on the WRTV app and at WRTV.com.